I've said to everybody from the beginning, be radical. When I met with Michael Fassbender, I said, don't act like you're Ian McKellen in the original movies. Act like you're Michael Fassbender in a Steve McQueen movie. I said to Jennifer, don't act like you have to be like you were in the previous three movies. Act like you're in a David Russell movie. James McAvoy said, act like you're in a British drama. Something's happening to her, Raven. She's changing. And what? I don't know. We expose some of his flaws in this film. Charles's M.O. is not to give up on people, and that's part of his own ego as well. One of the main flaws we highlight in this film is his own ego. Charles and his X-Men are where we turn when facing our worst fears. A guy who is enjoying the acclaim, the magazine covers essentially the celebrity of being Professor Xavier, a leader and hero of the X-Men. And James really performed it that way as well with this hubris. Some of you choose to call us superheroes, but it is a damn sight better than what you used to call us. James always brings a lot. He's an incredibly smart and thoughtful storyteller. In addition to being what I think is one of the best actors working today. And his ego won't let him give up on somebody because he believes he's got this like messiah complex, I think, where he feels like he can save everybody. What did you do to her, Charles? I saved her. And looking at the nature of the relationship his character has to Jean Grey, that we found ourselves wanting to lean more deeply into his responsibility and explore the idea that maybe Charles was wrong. Maybe he is more responsible than he thought for what has happened to his family. You are not broken. I love working with James. I love what he has done with Charles. In this film especially because Professor X just really feels like he knows what is best for everyone. He doesn't allow, especially the X-Men, the dignity of their process and he creates their process for them. And I think that is the little nook at which everything has started to fall apart. It's part of what James really grabbed onto and I think wanted to explore more fully in this and it's part of what grounds and enriches the emotional storytelling, I think.